Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at uh, establishing communication from our Do More Designer software to our Bricks or BRX uh, PLC uh, that we have here. So the first thing we'll do is look at our pluggable option module, which is our POM, and that is a USB connection. It's a just a simple printer port. And what you'll see is once I plug it in, Windows automatically will take a look at it and it will actually pop into our link on our system here and you'll see it located right here under our links on our launch pad. So that automatically will detect that we have a USB connection and now we can connect to that. Um, and we can do things like edit and we can give it another name that, that uh, is a little easier for us to remember. We can say it's a, uh, let's see, and it's going to be a uh, DRX USB. And then we can give it a description. Uh, there we go. And we'll just accept that. So now we have our USB connection. So when we double click that, it actually reads the information from the PLC and comes up with what we call our dashboard here. And with our dashboard, you'll also see um, we have a launch pad back here, so that's where we were. Now our projects, so now we're online with the PLC. We can tell that by our status bar here at the bottom. Our PLC is okay, we're online, we're in run mode right now. Um, we can highlight some of the things here. We can see that the switch here is in terminal mode, which we can see um, right up here. It's in terminal mode. So a lot of information that's on this display here. Now what we're going to do while we're here, we're, our next uh, um, link that we're going to put up here is going to be a, a serial communication. And so what we're going to um, do here is we have a sir, uh, RS-485 to um, USB connector and this is uh, another model it's a model uh, USB 45M and that's by Automation Direct as well and it just takes your uh, USB cable and makes it into a 485 connection and we will go right into this port right here with our communication and you can see that we have lights on our uh, our palm module that indicate that we are communicating. So we want to set this up because the default currently is RS-232. So in order to do that, what we have to do is go to our online menu bar here and we'll go to configuration. And under the configuration, you'll see on the left hand side here, we can select the port type that we have on the unit. So under system configuration, always go from the top down to the bottom because as you change things in the top here, they automatically will adjust as you go down and choose different options. So in our case here, um, it's going to be RS-485 and we're going to enable that 120 ohm uh, termination resistor. So we say OK. While we're here, we're also going to look at the internal Ethernet port, which is located at this spot here and that internet, ethernet port we can also configure it again we're online so we can configure it so we'll um, hit the configure and when we do we'll set the IP address 192, 168, 1 and 11 and our sub mask 255, 255, 255, 0 and our gateway in order to get out onto the internet is 192, 168, 1, 1 so that's what we're going to set. Again, we can give it a, a name and description within the Do More. So once that's all set, we hit OK. And now our configuration um, will be automatically transferred into that controller. Say OK. And so let's, uh, let's stop our communication from our um, USB module. So in order to do so, we go to PLC Disconnect. Yes, and what you'll notice is now our lights are fla stop flashing, and we're going to create a new link. New link is going to be com number five. We tell this by um, when we in the, when we install the software 
for the USB to 45 converter, um, you'll, so, you'll see that uh, it'll actually come up and give you COM port uh, uh, connection using the Windows device net, so our device, our device manager. So if you look at device manager under ports, you'll see that the COM port in which it, uh, it goes to. So in here, we'll select COM port from our five. Automatically, that little flash indicated that it actually went out, talked to the, um, the BRX uh, uh, serial or series uh, PLC. It came back and set all of my COM configurations based on what it found on that COM port itself. So let's just give this a name. And we'll call it a serial. and we hit finish. Now, in order for us to actually start communicating serially, what we'll do is just double click on that serial communication and we'll say save. Oh, cancel. Control save. There we go. We're going to read that configuration from the PLC and now You'll notice that our two lights transmit and receive on our serial communication is now going. So we are communicating currently right now through our serial port of our do more. So here's our, our uh, serial port here in the specifications. And as we highlight different things on this uh, dashboard, you'll actually see things change. So let's uh, disconnect again from the PLC. And the third thing we'll do is we will go back to our launch pad and call up another new link. In this, case, in this case here, we're going to call up the Ethernet link. So we're going to be going through their Ethernet port and leave it as a default UDP IP. Now it comes up here and it looks for information. Now, if we didn't see this up here, uh, remember, we already preset it uh, when we were connected with the USB. But if we did not, then we hit setup. What that will do is it calls up a, another program. And the other program is called uh, NetEdit3. And what it does is goes out, goes out and looks for all of the controllers that are on the system. And if we didn't have the IP address set here, what we could do is double click on here and again it comes up and allows us to change our values in the controller while we're on while we're online um, when we're using this net3. So again we don't have to do anything it just calls up and it will actually allow us to change that value. So once we have that established then all we do is we select which uh, one we have here. We can also select what default if we have more than one adapter um, or our ethernet adapters in the back of our computer, we can select that. But in our case here, I only have the one. So we'll select the uh, MAC address and the IP. We'll hit next. And again, it will automatically uh, fill in all the rest of the settings for you as it goes on to the ethernet uh, the network and figures out what it needs. So here we're going to write in our name. And our little description. We'll hit finish. And once again, our uh, in our links uh, package it's right there for us so if I were to select it um, we won't save that and we'll get connected and now we're connected through our Ethernet port and you can see now the lights are actually flashing a lot quicker now so we are communicating again we can see our online edit bar and on the bottom our status screen here so a couple of other things we have now, we, before we hit the configuration, we use this configuration. We could also go to um, PL, um, 
PLC system configuration. So that will call up the exact same thing. Certain things we can do online, we can change the mode of the PLC. Right now it's in run mode. We can turn it into program mode. Hit OK. So you can see um, our, our, my run light just stopped. So you see that um, very easy to establish communications with this BRX uh, Rx PLC from Automation Direct. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.